Hi there, these comments are for GE and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of the lessons at OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. You're one of my TOEFL speaking boot camp course students, and I'm getting ready to read your uh, practice test right now, so actually I read it. So I'm going to put you at 3.5 out of 5, 22 points out of 30. You do have some errors and or usage which may be more frequent, may result in noticeably vague expressions of obscure meaning. So you have some problems with grammar in there, and that's why I'm giving you the score that I am. Uh, I think overall it's a good, strong structure. You have your introduction. Let's take a look at it right here. You state kind of the relationship between the reading and the listening passage, and then you begin each body paragraph discussing reading point one along with listening point one, then reading point two with listening point two, and finally you talk about uh, reading point three with listening point three. Okay, so let's take a look. The reading passage states three advantages about ethanol. I would change this to and just put source, practicality, practicality and cost and environmental perspectives. However, the listening passage casts doubt on these three points by saying that ethanol has its downsides. I would make this plural. First, the reading passage claims that the production You can say the production the production of ethanol I'm going to say manufacturing, the manufacturing of ethanol is highly highly productive and abundant I, let's change it to barley and corn are abundantly grown in many areas. Maine so we had to change this a little bit the reading passage claims that the manufacturing of ethanol is highly productive because barley and corn the main ingredients for ethanol are abundantly grown in many areas in contrast the lecture argues that the use of ethanol is not favored across the country in as much as there are only fewer than 650 places for pumping ethanol compared to nearly 175,000 
gasoline stations which cover far-flung areas. Hence, were the gasoline to be replaced by ethanol, the virtual pipeline would be using tank truck over real cars. A virtual pipeline and bio refineries would need to be So where the gasoline to be replaced by ethanol, a virtual pipeline and bower refineries would need to be built. You might want to say in order to to make ethanol more widely available for its consumers. I would probably say something like that. Let's take a look at your next paragraph. So sometimes when you're writing your idea, you have the idea in your mind, but you can't completely get everything out. The author illustrates that 85% Ethanol use for cars is an ideal choice considering ethanol's considering ethanol's 85% types you want to say come comply with the alternative fuel standards under the Energy Policy Act of 1992. Make this an apostrophe. However, the professor refutes his claim and states that using much ethanol will cause climate problems which means that fewer ethanol run 10 to 15 percent would be added In addition, using ethanol is not a money-saving method. Instead, it depends on where people you have to say whether drivers save money depends I'll put depends on and then put where they live. For instance, those who reside in the vicinity of ethanol production areas will enjoy using gasoline at only maybe 70 cents
70 cents a gallon. Conversely, people who live at far to reach areas will lose a chance to buy ethanol. At, I'm going to put reasonable prices here, not rational. At reasonable prices, and they will get less ethanol every time they go to a station. Last, the reading passage mentions ethanol is eco friendly. You want to put here is more eco friendly than, right? So you got more plus than in that case. In your third paragraph, we have last. See how we got this. So first, second, why the reading passage mentioned that ethanol is more eco-friendly than gasoline because it produces. Because how about it? I would put it has a higher octane rating and fewer harmful gases. From the professor's side, he agrees on the noticeable effort that ethanol brings to the world. Let's put indeed, this is good, this is a good paragraph for you. You're kind of showing the subtle, it's complicated. The, the lecture, it agrees with part of some of the benefits of ethanol, but then it has some disagreements. And you're able to show that in this paragraph, so that's good. From the professor's side, indeed, he agrees in the noticeable effort that ethanol brings to the world. And I'm going to put here by and get rid of it by reducing green greenhouse gases effectively. But then we have... On the other hand, let's put the voice marker right there. Let's say, on the other hand, the pollutants have been generated. On the other hand, you might say during the production of ethanol, pollutants, I'm going to put are generated, not have been. I'm going to use this simple present to explain the process. The pollutants are generated during the process, asserts the speaker, when either ethanol plants When ethanol plants need maintenance or corn or when corn fields, I'm going to change this to need harvesting, both of which both of which use diesel fuels, pesticides, and petroleum. Intensively. Therefore, all these factors boil down to a consequence where the contamination becomes the major problem. And the benefits of using ethanol are less significant, I think is a better word here. Fortunately, the cutting edge technology products solve the problem of the pollution. The cutting edge technology products, okay, driven by crops, genetic modification, ethanol technology, the contamination issue will be figured out. Good. Fortunately, the cutting edge technology products solve the problem of pollution. 
you could put fortunately let's say according or how about the speaker adds fortunately the speaker adds that cutting-edge technology products solve the problem of pollution driven by crop genetic I'm going to get rid of the S. We're kind of using crop as an adjective. Driven by crop genetic modification and ethanol technology, the contamination will be figured out. Will be figured out. As a result, you can ethanol is a double is a double edged sword. Concludes the speaker. Let's put that voice marker right there at the end, too. So I think for the most part, you you know how to structure your ideas, and you definitely have a lot of important information in there. But it's the same thing that's, that's been happening with your independent writing. Your language use limitations are preventing you from fully expressing your ideas, right? That's... It, this is what it comes down to. So what you do is, is you need more time. You may not solve all your writing problems in one month. Maybe not all your speaking problems in one month. So make a point to focus a lot right now on the vocabulary and the grammar parts of my online TOEFL course. I think that's going to be good for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the reading passage one more time. And then I'll give you some last-minute suggestions here. The reading passage states three advantages about ethanol. Source, practicality and cost, and environment perspectives. Let's make this an adjective. Environmental. However, the listening passage casts doubt on these three points by saying that using ethanol has its downsides. First, the reading passage claims that the manufacturing of ethanol is highly productive because... Barley and corn, the main ingredients for ethanol, are abundantly grown in many areas. In contrast, the lecture argues that the use of ethanol is not favored across the country inasmuch as there are only fewer, as there are, I would just say fewer, not only fewer, there are fewer than 650 places for pumping ethanol compared to nearly 175,000 gasoline stations which cover far-flung areas. Hence, were the gasoline to be replaced by ethanol, a virtual pipeline and biorefineries would need to be built in order to make ethanol more widely available for its customers. Second, the author illustrates that 85% ethanol use for cars is an ideal choice considering ethanol's 85% types comply with the alternative fuel standards under the Energy Policy Act of 1992. However, the professor refutes this claim and states that using much ethanol will cause climate problems, which means that fewer ethanol, around 10 to 15 percent, will be added, maybe, to gasoline. In addition, using ethanol is not a money-saving method. Instead, whether drivers save money depends on where people live. For instance, those who reside in the vicinity of ethanol production areas will enjoy using gasoline at only 70 cents a gallon. Conversely, people who live at far to reach areas will lose a chance to buy ethanol at reasonable prices and they will get less ethanol every time they go to a station. Last, the reading passage mentions that ethanol is more eco-friendly than gasoline because it has a higher octane rating and fewer harmful gases. From the professor's side, indeed, he agrees on the noticeable effort that ethanol brings to the world by reducing greenhouse gases effectively. On the other hand, during the production of ethanol, the pollutants are generated during the process, asserts the speaker, when either ethanol plants need maintenance or when cornfields need harvesting, both of which use diesel, fuels, pesticides, and petroleum intensively. I'm going to change this to ext I'm going to say extensively. 
Therefore, all these factors boil down to a consequence, where the contamination becomes the major problem and the benefits of using ethanol are less significant. Fortunately, the speaker adds that cutting edge technology products solve the problem of the pollution. Driven by crop genetic modification and ethanol technology, the contamination issue will be figured out. As a result, using ethanol as a double-edged sword concludes the speaker. In conclusion, the reading passage believes that ethanol use will be a merit. However, the listening part gives three reasons to refute the claim, saying that disadvantages outweigh advantages when it comes to ethanol use. Exactly. Very good conclusion there. Now, if you don't have enough time and don't put the conclusion, uh, I don't think it's a major problem there. Okay, so I think overall, uh, as you can see, sometimes when you're when you're doing your integrated writing, some of your language use issues result in kind of unclear meanings and not quite exactly showing the relationship between the listening and the reading or exactly explaining what's going on in the reading or the listening passage. So it's just a matter of improving your overall English and I think you will get better control of your language use and that will in turn help you with your writing and also your speaking. So your score on this practice test is 22 points out of 30, approximately 3.5 out of 5 on this writing task. All right, thank you.